Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is the first part in my spring renovation project series. I am so excited to be sharing with you how I painted the risers of my steps and the cabinet poles and knobs that I installed in my kitchen. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first thing that I did was lay out all of my supplies. I have the things I need for sanding here. I've got a sanding block and some medium grit sandpaper. I have a microfiber cloth to wipe up all of the excess once I have vacuumed all the sandpaper dust. And then over here I have my painting supplies just to get me started. So I have some tape. I have the primer that I'm gonna use on um, the risers here, which is a interior exterior multi-purpose primer um, it says it's good for glossy trim which is kind of what I'm doing I'm using a semi gloss so this should be great um, and I can use this I got a whole gallon because I have another spot in their house that I need to prime as well so I got a whole gallon I have my opener here I have a stirring stick and then I have a brush and a small pan to pour the paint into so I'm gonna get cracking on sanding and show you kind of what that process looks like Okay, so you can see here on the very top, I'm starting at the top and then I'm gonna work my way down to the bottom. And you can see here that I have filled in with wood putty any little holes that were from, um, I had carpet that was on the stairs before, so there were a lot of spots where there were pretty big holes where the carpet was stapled. So I filled those in with wood putty and then here I have my sanding block and I'm just going to run it across. You wanna go with the grain of the wood, I'm just gonna run it across, give it a light sand, and then I'll go back up and vacuum all this dust up later. And I'm gonna do the same thing here on the stringer, but I'm probably not gonna use the block. I'm probably just gonna use like a sheet of paper so it contours a little bit to um, all these details and stuff in the stringer. Um, so let's get started. I'm just starting out here with the sandpaper block and the sheet of sandpaper I'm using on the stringer. This part took a really long time, so I sped it up for you guys so you could just kind of see what I was doing. It was definitely very tedious. I'm really excited to be sharing so many of these projects with you guys since we are in quarantine. I'm getting a lot done. So if you guys want to follow me on a more day-to-day -day basis, then go ahead on over to Instagram and check me out at Mayor Haney to see what I'm up to every day. Once all the sanding was done, I needed to make sure that I got all of that fine dust that was all over the place. So here I'm just using my shop vac to just vacuum up the worst of it. And then you'll see in just a minute, I'm gonna go back with a damp microfiber to pick up any dust that was left over that I did not get with the vacuum. Okay, so I just taped along all of the tread that I didn't want to have painted. And then I didn't do it along the stringer where the wall is because it's primer and this wall hasn't been painted. So if primer gets a little bit on the wall, totally not a big deal. So I only taped off the parts that I didn't want paint to touch. So I'm going to stir up the primer and then get started on painting all of this wood next. <laughs> 
Okay, so all the priming is done and you guys can see, um, if I zoom in a little bit here for you, there's you can still see a little bit of the wood through it, which is fine because this is just a primer. Um, tomorrow my plan is to go and do all the like regular paint and it's probably gonna need two coats would be my guess um, of the semi-gloss, but I just, I can see the vision. Like I can see how good this is going to look when it's done. So I'm very happy. Um, I had to, this took a really long time. So midway through I actually had to clean my brush um, and then I went back and did like a small little second coat um, with a second brush because it just took so long, like probably two hours to do this. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I will report back in the morning and I'll show you guys what it looks like and then we'll get started painting with the actual paint. Hey friends, it's day two and I wanted to share a couple of updates. Um, I think that now that the paint has had some time to dry, it looks really awesome. So let me show you what it looks like so you can see. And you can see, I can still see some of the wood grain through, which is not a big deal because I'm probably gonna end up doing two coats of the semi-gloss paint, but it looks so good and so clean. Now this time around, I'm gonna have to do double the taping because before it didn't matter. I didn't have to tape the wall here because eventually this whole wall here is going to be painted the same color as the living room. I just stopped for now, but I'm using a different finish paint on the stairs. I'm using a semi-gloss paint. So I'm gonna actually have to tape along the line where the stringer and the wall meet because I don't wanna get any of the semi-gloss paint on the risers here or on the treads here or on the wall. I just want them on the risers and I just want the paint on the stringer. So it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to retape this, but that's totally okay. I just kinda like wiped everything down to make sure there was no like dust that had come out since um, yesterday, but I think they look really awesome. And so I'm gonna get to work taping. Let's see how long this takes. So this part of the project did actually take a really long time to do just because I had so much more to tape than the first go around, but it is so important because if I had gotten some of that semi-gloss paint on the wall, it is a lot harder to cover up a semi-gloss paint with a matte or flat finish. So that is why I wanted to be really diligent about taping everything off really well. And I'm going to have to do the same thing when I end up painting the wall. I'm going to have to tape the stringer to make sure I don't get any of the wall color on this beautiful white paint. million hours later the taping is finally done I'm very excited to start painting in just a second let me show you guys what I'm gonna be using to actually paint this okay so I've got my pinky and my stirring stick and then this is the paint that I'm gonna be using um, I use this all over the trim I painted pretty much every single piece of trim in my whole house with this paint it is a paint and primer in one really I probably didn't have to prime but you know better safe than sorry and this is a semi-gloss paint, which is what you want for the risers of your steps. It's the same um, sheen that is on all of my trim. And I got the ultra pure white in this because I really like white. Um, like the brighter the white, the better. And then um, this is bare paint. So I've used this before, I love it. So I'm gonna open this up, give it a stir, and I'm probably gonna start I'll show you here. I'm probably gonna start by like brushing along the edges first, then I'll probably go back in the middle with a small roller and see how that works. So let's go ahead and get started. If 
you guys are still watching, thank you so much again for being here and supporting my YouTube channel. If you have not already, please consider hitting the subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it so that way I know to continue making more videos in my spring reno project series. So I just pulled up all of the tape and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with just one coat of the paint. Now remember, this is a paint primer in one, so I really didn't need to prime beforehand, but you'll see when I zoom in a little bit closer that there are several spots I'm probably gonna have to go back and touch up. Um, so the stringer right here looks pretty good. Um, I would say most of these little imperfections um, if you guys don't know, I think I said it already, but there was carpet like all over these stairs before I had them stained and then painted them. So there are still some spots where there is damage from staples and things like you can see it right here in the tops of the stairs. It really doesn't bother me that much. I think it looks really rustic and I think that makes it look so much cooler. That's just my personal opinion. But you can see where I've painted. There's a few spots, especially if I come up here where there's less natural lighting. There are some spots where I can still see like dark through or I can still see like not just the grain of the wood but like the coloring of the wood. So I may go back through with like a craft brush, like a really small brush and do a little bit of detail work like here on the stringer and stuff like that. But really, unless you're looking super up close, like if I just take you back and stand way back here, I mean, you can't even tell. It's not really till you zoom in that you notice, like, whew, also that lighting. I mean, it makes a huge difference and you really can't tell those little imperfections until you get up close. I'm also hoping that, so the wall color that's gonna be in this hallway here and here is the same color that's in this living room, which I've already painted on like half of the wall here. It's like a very cool tone, like almost like a lavender. So you can kind of see how it looks when it's like popping against the white there. So just imagine it going all the way up. But I'm really pleased with how this turned out and I wanted to um, explain to you so I pulled the tape off and there were some spots and you can see it right here where like the paint is still showing. So I will probably go back later and like scrape that out once it's dried, like where it's like in between, there's like a crack between where the tread and the riser are. So I'll probably go back and clean that up. But also like a little bit of it got here as well. I, I got the worst of it with like a baby wipe. Like again, if you're standing like this, 
like you can't really tell until you get really close that there's just like a few spots where there's still some paint. So I just took a baby wipe after I peeled the tape off and I made sure to peel the tape off immediately. So that's why I'm showing you this now is I just took the tape off. I didn't want to wait until like tomorrow or the next day because um, sometimes when you pull tape up, especially with like a very glossy paint like this, I've noticed that it will pull the paint with it. So I did not want that to happen. So that's why I, I just immediately took the tape off and it gave me the perfect time to like wipe the little edges with a baby wipe. I think a baby wipe work, works perfectly. But I am so pleased with how this looks. This was so easy to do and it really cost very little money. I mean, I did not even use like a quart of paint to do this whole thing. All right guys, so the next project I'm sharing with you is how I installed my cabinet knobs and pulls. So I'm starting out here with this template that I got from the Home Depot and I just decided where I wanted the cabinet knobs to go and I am marking them with the drill bit. So that way when I go to drill with the drill, there's already a small hole there so I can really easily drill where I need to. Once the hole was drilled, these knobs were super easy to install. You just hold the back of the screw and twist by hand, and then we use a screwdriver to make sure that the knobs were extra tight and exactly where we wanted them flush with the front of the cabinet, and they look so awesome. We installed the drawer pulls the same way we used the template from Home Depot, marked the holes with the drill bit, and this was a little bit trickier to do because the drawers were a little bit thicker than the cabinets were, but it's totally okay. We just left the dust in the cabinets and I went and vacuumed them out later, but these were also a snap to install. And this is what the cabinets look like totally finished. I love the way they turned out. This was such an easy project to do and it makes such a big difference in your kitchen. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss part two of my spring home reno series. And I will see you guys again really soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.